So yeah, first off, it was it was really good. It was had about like 20, 25 people or something. There's a oh, lot nice. of people. Okay. And right. um and so yeah, like there's a lot of good questions. And it was like we could have gone on and on and on and on, but it's like there's so much more that we can do. They're like, hey, well, what could you do this? And it's like you can, but like I'm not gonna get into that because we can just go into a whole rabbit hole. It's like oh no, Aminos, I totally picked up on that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like Aminos will do this. Once you connect it with Zapier or Make or whatever, then then into a system and then anything else, like yeah. So I, I think it was you that I was uh, talking with that. Um. So on here, I'll, I'll actually show you here really quick. Okay. That's what we're doing anyway. So, um. Let's see. I need my other glasses. These are not getting the job done. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh yeah. So like on the, on the website chat here, you know, so this is like what I think I was talking with you about was the uh, web, the chat widget here is that this is it. So like once you have this, you can only create one of these and put it on, put it in your, put it on a website. So right. you can do multiple different ones. Right. You know, okay. So for each sub account, you can have one. Yeah. Chapter. Okay. Yeah. So, well, so like, let's say you got, uh, you know, three different businesses and you're utilizing the same one here. Well, you can't, right. it's only going to be the same one that's on there. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. You know, okay. And so that now you can also go back through and do the, um, what is it? Uh, I think it's a conversation. AI. So yeah, like back here on the back side, this is where you can get the whole AI bot training itself for helping to chain that train that chat widget. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing is that when you do this again, you're still uh, putting in, you can put in all this information here, all these different sites, Yeah. but it's still going to be with one bot. So you right. can't have it go off into like different branches and say, Hey, okay, uh, go down this one here. You're interested about, you know, go high level. Go to you know right. talk to this bot, or if you're interested in real estate, go talk to this bot, right? Okay, it's right. Go through here and take all these fields. Now, granted, you can put a lot in here, and still yeah. just going to take all that information and have to sift through all that, and which is going yeah. to be a lot worse. So yeah, that's why I'm I'm not a fan of this in here. I get it, right. but if it's if you're setting it up there on your own website, but then again, like how many websites do we have and funnel pages and stuff like that? Right. We've got right. lots of them, right? So yeah. it, it kind of doesn't really work out. So this is why having the these Aminos bots actually do work out. And so then now when you got uh, chat, chat type here, you have either uh, SMS or email. So if you do this, well, then it's just going to go through here and like give you this, and then it's going to either one continue through SMS or in an email, which then in turn takes them off the website, which right. kind of sucks. So, okay. And okay. then if you do live chat, you can still get it to ask questions, but it won't retain this conversation. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, okay. so then now you have this whole thing and you're just like, okay. Well, yeah. Like now what? Like it'll still work, run in the background, just kind of like our, our Amino spots. But it, it, even though it'll collect that information, there's nothing else that we can do with it. So 24-7 coverage, uh, it works well for large uh, teams that have 24-7 coverage. But, like, you can't do anything else with it. Mm -hmm. You know, here's just your acknowledgement setting itself. But, like, it, it can't do anything else, right? So that's yeah. why we do have, have our bots then. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, and see, for me, I... I, I... I signed up with Aminos in January, but I hadn't really, you know, done too much with it. And then um, I signed up with my friend uh, when I decided, okay, I really want to move forward. I need a website. So I didn't even sign up with High Level for any other reason than I need a website to sell my Aminos bots on, you know? And so that's why I got with Go High Level. But she's been in it for a few years now. And then she said, well, why are you doing it there? We have that in Go High Level. So I couldn't articulate to her what, why? I, I just know I signed up in January and that was my first introduction to it. And right. so I didn't know anything about high level. So I'm like, I can't tell you why. I just know I signed <laughs> up there first, you know? So, right. But that, I was like, yeah. when I saw that you were posting stuff and you were, and I, so then I thought, oh, I can ask because you're in go high level. There's a reason you're here too and using this instead of just high level. So yeah, it, it, exactly. And, th and this is why too, because of this, like, mm -hmm. 
Um, so like now you can do the messenger. It, it'll automatically chat between messenger and, uh, and Instagram and stuff now too, which, yeah. which is cool. Yeah. Still kind of playing around with that, but you know, I, I really haven't like really settled on that, but that is cool for doing that. For doing so, like, that. On, yeah. On websites and stuff is going to be a lot of like where a lot of other things are going on too. So, yeah. um, you know, so like to be able to do this, you know, th this is where, where it comes in to be really good. And so now I forgot which one I came in from go i levels uh but we we did a couple of them i think i i don't know anyways i got i got several of them you know several setups in here so it's like really hard for me to keep track of which ones um but like so this one here is is just my demo account so everything comes in here right okay so I, I got like two different types of bots and stuff going on you know one is an ai coach another one is amino spots and stuff okay um the AI coaches just gets that three pieces of information, doesn't put in the rest of the conversation. With Aminos, I can get those three pieces of information and other fields too. So like, um, right. you know, what's your favorite color? You know, I can ask that as a question and then whatever your response is, it'll save that there as another field into the okay. Google Sheets. Okay. So um, just like this. So just like this, we got the name, phone number, email, and the AI, uh, I'm not even sorry. Let me just share the window. Just turn my And so then now, and the, this is just so we can see it on the Google Sheet side. So okay. everything that comes in here is how I take it into go high level. So okay. the beauty part here is that one, I get, you know, the three pieces of information, but then now I can also take the whole conversation okay, and have that there also then imported into uh, go high level itself. So this way here, I can always have like the conversation to refer back to. And then do you do that? So for yourself on your business and then also for your clients, do they get that part too with their bots? Okay. <laughs> they depending. Pay extra or <laughs> yeah, depending. So and so a couple of people have asked about that. Like, hey, what should I be selling this for and that and stuff? And that's why when we did this too on Saturday, it was like, well, yeah, we can go on and on and on and do a, you know, get into doing a whole yeah. bunch of different things. But yeah. like primarily, like what information am I trying to collect? And then right. when it comes in, I can set it up on the on this side over here that so um so i'll show you like what i did here so in my test folder here so aminos bot leads right so this is what i'm playing with right now so when an aminos bot lead comes you know comes in right mm -hmm. this is through make through the side of make it's coming in and it's adding the uh, tag amino spot because that's what is coming in that's what it's doing over here through make is it's creating you know creating this this is that other third party way to uh, okay right over. okay right uh-huh so so we're doing this right so here's this and when we come in here we're collecting the information from the webhook that it's getting from aminos right and now i'm taking the email from here so you can see it, it's red matches the same same color so i'm okay. taking the email the phone number and the name as well as any other fields that i want to Right. Okay. And then now when I bring it in, you know, send it over, I'm saying, okay, what do I want it to do? I want it to also be added as a Minos bot. I want to have the tag added as a Minos bot. Oh, right. Okay. So then now when it comes in here, right? It's already and the tagged. tag is added a Minos bot, right? Okay. So then okay. Now what happens? Then this is so like we just went from Aminos. Now we just brought it into go high level, right? Okay. Now we're in our system. So then now this is where like people are like, well, can we get it to do this? And this? it's like, depending upon what you're doing with your system. So yeah. for me, this here is just a sample. Like I don't want it to go off and do a whole bunch of stuff, but like, as long as I can get it to do this every single time, then we're good. Okay. So it gets added as a tag. So then when a tag is added, gets assigned to me, and then it update, we're updating a few things. We're going to update the SMS uh, opt-in for the current date because they went in on the website. Okay. They chatted with the bot. They gave the phone number. They gave the email. So we're updating that. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and say yep. And yes, they they opted in. They selected to opt in. And then right here, this is where uh, we're doing our notification. 
This is a new Amino's bot test lead, right? So now every time an Amino's bot comes in, it comes in through this whole process and now I get tagged and notified. Okay, so it's, but it, it tags, it's already tagged and, and opted in. You don't have to do any of that manually. That's automated through the workflow. So by the time you get the notification, it's just saying here you have a new lead that came in through Amino's bot. They're opted in for your SMS and there's nothing for you to do except now they're added to whatever workflow you want right. to assign them to next. Right. So now okay. I'm just, this is essentially how it's got to look on essentially your client side, my side, whatever. Okay. And once it comes in, I'm going to tag it as this amino spot. Okay. okay. From there, now you can go through and have it do whatever it is. That do you whatever want. you want. Okay. You okay. know, and so, then, so that's going to be uh, for your clients. It'll just be whatever they decide. They, they work out their own workflow. Right. And now it. that there kind of then comes into, well, what do you guys sell for? What do you guys do for this? Like, I yeah. want to do this and that. And it's like, okay, do you want it to do that? Or do you or want you are you to trying to sell it for your client? <laughs> okay. Oh, you okay, trying, yeah. And if you are trying to do something elaborate like that to sell yeah. for your client, do they need that? Right. So uh, that's why I try to tell people you want to have a baseline of like, hey, I'll make you a bot. I'll give you the code. You put it in on your website. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's it, said and done. Right. Like, I'm not making any of the changes. I'll charge you 47 bucks for that. You can have it. No problem. Okay. Okay. Um, and you can keep using it. 250 setup charge to go on, you know, to even go into the Google Sheet. Because now I that's something that I have to be a part of, right? I have to make okay. sure that that integration keeps going. Right. They can't make that integration, but I have to keep maintaining it. I have to right. keep an eye on it. So if all of a sudden they stop getting leads, so then now am I comfortable with going through that far, right? Or yeah. do I just want to have the leads email to them? They're like, well, I want, I'd like to, you know, Hey, what if I give you this out of Google Sheet? And then you can do what you want with them. Maybe right. they don't want it to go in a system or whatever. Maybe it's just manual leads that come in and then they're manually calling them out one by one, whichever, you know. And they say, okay, cool. I'll go with that. I'll go with the sheet. Well, then here you go. Here's your sheet. They always have access to it. They can do whatever. Because when you do the Mino spot, you're going to do it uh, in the Google Sheet. You're going to utilize their Google Sheet. So that way they always have access to it. And unless they delete the sheet, they're always going to get it. That's good. Well, you know, and I've only done two so far. And one of them, he just wants the emails. Like he has a mobile tinting and he's fine just getting an email for a lead. And, you know, that's fine. And then my other one that I did is for, she does um, document preparation and she's notary. And so, you know, she doesn't, she has a full-time job. So this is not her primary income. So she doesn't even get the, she doesn't get the Google sheet that I created either. In fact, I just stopped that Google sheet. She doesn't even know it doesn't impact her because she gets the one off email, but I'm glad you make that point because I was kind of wondering what is the point of the Google sheet? And, and now it makes sense if you have somebody that's getting high volume, but, but I'm glad you pointed out because it wouldn't even have occurred to me because when I was looking, watching the videos and setting it up for myself, it didn't occur to me that I wouldn't want to be doing that for my clients. And I'd have, you know, conceivably a thousand Google sheets that have nothing to do with me in my account. So you would just ask your client to set up their Google sheet then, unless they right. want to come into high level and be, get, you know, be a client. Yeah. And, and this is why, you know, we kept going through is like, yeah, we can do many of things. So here's okay. another, okay. here's another setup here too. Okay. So this one I don't use. Um, you can, but this one here is because for this trigger here to work, um, this is, on a time setup i can't get it to, it won't do an instant setup so to, oh. to do it from a google sheet it would be like hey at the end of the day upload you know they can you know uh it'll update it so it'll pull all the aminos uh bot leads okay and put them in there for that day right okay so okay. then it so then it would go through there and update it okay and then you know at that time then we can go through and put it up into a system like that okay again go high level here just creating a contact here because I don't need it to do everything else in here because from here, all I want it to do is just create a contact. Once create I get a contact. System, okay. I, then I've got it from there. Okay. So this here is the other way to be able to do that Google sheet there too. So maybe you don't want stuff to come in instantaneously or, or whatever. Right. you okay. know, uh, maybe it's orders or something like that. You know, you're, you're getting orders, you're, okay. you're having to do up orders and stuff. So then that there would be the Google sheet, you integrate it with this and then that way it'll, it'll push it on over too. Okay. 
So, but this one here, like I said, I generally don't use this one because of the web hook here. And we just go through and we do it directly. So if we utilize the web hook here, we're going directly into uh, go high level. Have you seen any instances where an existing contact, so they've already been to, you know, through the bot, they've used the bot, but now they're coming back, you know, maybe they're just a lead and it created a contact, but now that same person comes back because they're looking for something else on the website perhaps, and they're asking questions and they fill out it again. What happens in high level? Does it create a duplicate or will it recognize and then just up do whatever it does? I don't know. What do you want it to do? Oh, so it really can. Okay. So you can set it up that if this, then right. that. Okay. So yeah, like, like, you know, if we come back in here and we go, um, let's say there's, there, there's an option choice in there, you know, red, green, or blue, you know, pick your choice. And we go, um, we can go if, you know, cause we're going to come in here and do update contact fields. And we're just going to say, select, uh, select something here. Um, let me find something that's got like a switch in there. <laughs> Anyways, well, whatever, we'll just call this and we can go, okay. Uh, if this is filled out or whatever, so it will update it there, right? And then we can go if. Oh, okay. See, I haven't even been this far into high level fields. What was that? Bedroom, bathroom, bathroom. So, bathroom, bathroom, uh, includes, uh, I think I said it for 1.5. Uh, so we'll say if it's, uh, in, you know, does come in as 1.5 in which we already updated this field, which mm -hmm. would be that bathroom field, then it would go down this path. Okay. And then okay. we can make it do something else. Okay. Like, Hey, um, you know, insurance claims or insurance coverage, right? So we can go through and do it like that. And so if they said insurance claims this way, if they said insurance coverage, then it would come down this way. Okay. Okay. So cool. well, a lot let me of show crazy you ways that we can go about this. Yeah. And I'm, you know, I'm realizing how overwhelming it, it could get, especially if I land this gig with the property management company, which it's not looking promising right now. I was super hopeful at first because I had the backing of my property manager here locally. Right. And, and then when she got, had the support of the regional director who lives in California, um, I really got hopeful knowing they sent it over to the VP, but you know, I haven't heard back. I followed up a couple times. I'll follow up again today. Uh, and I, I even sent them a, just a really quick demo. You know, my concern with doing stuff like that is that they'll go search for it somewhere else. You know, if I pitch it to them because you can get them everywhere. Right. Um, right. So well, I need well, well, that's, that's where, so it, the, what we're doing here is sales. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and I talked to a lot of real estate people, because I talk to homeowners and stuff and it's like, okay, yeah. great. Well, what's your price? Well, I don't know. I can be a lowball price or I can give you what you want. Like depends right. on the situation. Like, right. do you mind if we have a discussion here to get into this? Yeah. So then now I can understand what their conversation is. Right. Yeah. And so then now I, I can understand why, you know, it, okay, your house is valued at 200, but I want to give you a hundred thousand dollar offer. Well, if I ask you the questions, instead of me just coming around saying, hey, okay, well, I'm going to give you a, one of those shitty lowball offers of a hundred grand. Yeah, whatever, dude, get away. Move yeah. On. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's, how about this? Well, do you mind if I ask you a couple questions? Sure. Uh, why haven't those offers worked for you? Well, yeah. because I owe more than that. Oh, can you elaborate? And they go, yeah, well, I owe 180 on the house. I still have a loan of 180. So now we, if somebody still has a loan of 180 and they're going to give you a hundred, what does that mean? You still have 80,000 to pay off. Yeah, right. So now does that offer work? No, no. So then <laughs> now I can find out what it is that, that will. So mm -hmm. now I have that idea of 180 is already like the maximum low that they'll be able to go, but I can, you know, you know create other opportunities for that. Mm -hmm. so, same here with the bots. What if, okay. So, well, what's your offer? What do they cost? Well, 
I can give you a number that you know you may like or you may not like, but what I but I'm doing a custom build for you. Right. You can't put a number yeah. on a custom build. Yeah. yeah. You know. Oh well, what do you mean custom build? Okay. So what if on your website you had a a, a bot for your clients, your your renters to interact with, and now they sit there and and it asks, um, what is your problem? What's your what's your discrepancy? And they type in their discrepancy. Now that field comes in to your system or it comes into a Google sheet, whichever, you know, and this is where you would break it down and like, okay, well, we can do that. There are a couple different ways. One, have that there just emailed to you. You guys take care of it. Right. Two, we can have that kind of information go into a Google sheet. So you guys will, can have that be organized. Like I so much know that you guys are that there would be nice or better yet. If you have a, a, a some sort of management system, we can even drop it into there yeah. and then make, and then have automations happen from there. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. So now that they go a uh, plumbing issue, they can come into the, like, and we, we would tell them like this, let's say they have a plumbing issue. Then it'll come into your system and you know, under your, in your system, you have this field called uh plumber. So now if the, if it's a plumbing issue, we know to send this out to the plumber. Now we can send a text directly to the plumber and say, Hey, yeah. we have a water leak in 213. Right now they're like, like, wow, that's like so cool. And now, Hey fancy, did you have to pick up that phone and make that call? No. Wouldn't, wouldn't that be nice for you? Do I have to stop what you're doing with, with having a, sh you know, showing a client or, sh or a potential uh, renter and then having to stop and turn around and, oh yeah. Hey, yeah, Johnny. Hey, can you take care of that? This and that. Uh, well, now you're trying to show somebody what is, you know, the place and then like, yeah. you know, kind of takes away from that. So then now again, I never gave you a price. I never gave you an offer. Right. Right. But now if you know how to set it up in those fashions, now you can make that. Okay. So, so fancy, we do that. You love that, right? Yes. Okay. What's that worth to you? How valuable is that to you? Dude, you do that and I ain't got to worry about paying, you know, doing anything else. Yeah. Shit. Okay, cool. Now why we can start talking numbers, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you see what I mean? It, it's kind of the oh, way it's sure. pitching. Yeah. You know, well, I haven't that. had a chance to pitch it to her because we haven't even got that far to talk about prices. I just showed her, I live in a building here in Waikiki. I sent a demo to the property manager downstairs who, um, you know, I don't really have a direct relationship with. We see each other in passing. Um, right. She knows who I am because I was the first person to tour this building when they when they built it, right. and so. Um, but she loved it. She she I sent it through the resident portal. So they have a lot of automations already, right? It's Brookfield Properties. They have eighty two properties in the U.S. alone. And right. when she got excited about it and sent it forward, they came back and told me if if they decide to move forward with me, it'll be for all eighty two properties because they want consistency across the brand, which is super exciting. I mean, so it's a massive deal, and I wouldn't do it by myself. I that's why I posted in the Aminos group because I would want to engage people who've been doing this a lot longer than me, you know, and yeah. we can all, we can all benefit. Right. Um, so, yeah. you know, I don't know if that'll happen, but it did get me to thinking. So yesterday I did some searches for here locally, just looking at smaller property management companies, maybe that just have some properties here locally in Hawaii. And, and, you know, I did some reach outs, so we'll see what comes back from that, but I think it's a good niche, but I'm, I'm discovering though, that there are these, a lot of them over here, they're the platform they're using. It, they're like companies in the, in the, I was going to say in the U S I mean, I, we know Hawaii is US, right, right. it's still our own kingdom over here, but, um, you know, on the mainland. And, and so, uh, these little companies I've never heard of, like knock, I guess. Uh, and there was another one, something door, you know, it, but these little, um, uh, CRMs or whatever, you know, platforms for property management specifically curious. I don't, I don't know that, I mean, maybe high level can do that too, but you know, so it could lead to further conversation about getting them off of that platform and maybe moving them over once, right. once I get to a point, cause I, I really didn't go into this thinking I was going to um, get in and be an agency or anything. I really just want to sell software, sell the platform. I don't really care to be an affiliate. I have a lot of other stuff going on, but I'm so intrigued by AI. And that's really why I got into the bots. I've been in the tech industry for 14 years nice. and you know, I, so I'm, I'm always just, 
wanting to stay on top of that whole thing. But I, I'm loving it. And I think really what keeps me in Aminos more so and what got me super engaged is just the community. Everybody's so friendly and willing to share and, you know, coach and give tips. And right. you know, so, so I'm loving that part of it too, because I don't think, I haven't seen another community like that. It's, it's not like, you know, and I've been around sales. I'm, I'm not in sales, but I've been around sales and it's usually very competitive and where you're gatekeeping, you know, who's going to spend time to build a bot and then share it with the whole community, you know, so that, right. you know, but that it happens every day. I feel like in Aminos, you know? Yeah. And, and, and that's what I mean too, is that like, you know, that's what is really cool um, about this too, because I actually have had a uh, Kieran, uh, actually personally reach out to me and stuff too. And, and talk to me about after I did that. After you, you did know? that. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. And he's like, dude, like, whoa, three hours. He's, he's like, I'm like, yeah. So I was like, <laughs> I'm going to release it once I hit, uh, hit the next level there. No, that was awesome. I thought that was, that was so perfect that you did that. I loved it. Yeah. Yeah. Was, but, was, but I mean, he loves it. He, <laughs> yeah. He's, he's doing some traveling and stuff right now. He's like, dude, I'm going to be watching that this week and stuff. Yeah. So, um, you know, uh, me and him are going to be doing some more talking to itself too. Good, good. Yeah. And, and so, you know, it, like when it really comes down to this, like everybody wants to get something like this and like, yeah. oh yeah, I, I can sell that. I can sell that. And it's like, cool. But then you, in order to do it, you have to know what you're selling and like how to do it. For sure. You know, yeah. and, and like yeah. what the product is. So it's like, Hey, right. can we do this, 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 and all this other coding and stuff? You know, it's like, yeah, eventually, essentially, yeah. But yeah. who's it for? If it's just right. for you, that's it. Because I also host a, uh, another group uh, called uh, Integrators Unite. We have a bi-weekly meeting talking about integrations and doing stuff like this. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. And so a bunch of us get on there and we just go through and discuss it. And it's like, you can, we can do anything that we want, but you have to know what, it, what your client needs. I mean, right. I, I could sit here and just go through and ramble off about all the good features about, you know, this whole thing itself too, right? You know, um, so you come onto a car lot and it's, it's like, hey, I, I got this uh, Dodge Charger, you know, Dodge Challenger here. You know, it's, it's got the 382 Hemi in there. It's like 607 horsepower. And then, hey, for a little bit more, we got we got the uh, the devil package that we can add on there and stuff, da, 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 this and that. You know, hey, what do you think? And you're like, dude, like, I don't want that. Right, right, it's some soccer mom with four kids and right. two wearing right. car seats. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so then now, when you when you do the approach, hey, fancy, you know, uh, welcome to the car lot. What brings you in today? Yeah. You know, okay, again, well, um, we've kind of been thinking about a car, getting a new car. Okay, kind of. Yeah, well, I'm, I mean, I don't know. We're just kind of kicking around the idea. Okay, now, are you going to have a vehicle to be trading in or or not, or like like what's kind of brought you to this decision? Well, the the one car that we do have, it, it's really nice and all, but like we, we keep having to take it into the shop. Oh, true. How many miles? Curious. 250. Oh, yeah, that's, <laughs> I'd probably say that that's definitely time, but you know, I know <laughs> how well vehicles are itself. So let me ask you, is it just you or do you have a family that, that you're shopping for? Oh, it's, it's, you know, it's me, but I do a lot of, uh, you know, I got my two kids with me and the, and the husband and then, um, you know, but I take a lot of the kids to the sporting events, my kids, plus, the, you know, their friends that are all on the same team and everything. Oh, okay. So, so you want, so would something more like a, you know, let's just say more of a minivan, would that be more down your line or, you know, you're like, well, no, I don't need that because I, I don't do, won't do that all the time. But I need something for for the family to ride in. Okay, you know, like, what are you looking for? Like, what's your idea? You see what I'm doing now? I'm kind of just getting you down to you go. Well, you know, I like the speed. I love the Challenger and stuff. But I mean, dude, I got the kids. That ain't gonna happen, right? right. Oh, totally agree with you. Now, if you like the Challenger, you do. Oh man, dude, I would love to have that in the Red Devil package. All right, cool. Well, check this out. What if I told you that there's a four door version? plenty of room for the whole family with the red devil package right now you're more interested right now yeah. you're like okay yeah i'm yeah I can have i'm both. more intrigued yeah. because of that <laughs> yeah and now doing that i didn't tell you what you need to buy mm -hmm. but i painted that picture for you to 
engage in it so you could see yourself oh wow a four door like a four door challenger with that red devil package oh yeah you know, now you're happy yeah not me i'm not selling nothing because right. when you do it you got to find out what their wants and their needs yeah. are to be able to sell that yeah yeah definitely you see, you see what i mean so yeah well the, the, definitely if i can get on a call with her i'll do the discovery and figure out you know yeah. the features and what they would really want it to do but i mean they don't have anything on there and it surprises me i mean this is a luxury building and they i mean they are the last one that'll be built in waikiki i mean they should be i i feel like when i go to their website i want to i want all the things we have a concierge downstairs i want one on the the, the website right. <laughs> you know i want yeah. all the things that come and, and, and let them know though too that like you could actually it could be different bots on different pages well, I saw that part on your video and I was, I was, I loved seeing that because, you know, when I pitched them originally and it was just a very brief, you know, here's some basic benefits of a bot on a, on a residential, you know, uh, on a proper multifamily dwelling website. Um, but, but it was that like, cause you need one for prospective tenants and then you would have another one that's the concierge for your existing tenants, you know? Right. And, and so when I saw yours, I was like, cause that was kind of in my mind when these conversations moving forward, how would I address that? When I saw that you had two on your site, uh, which makes sense cause we can build two and then plug it in, you know, with the code. Right. Um, and and so essentially you're not going to charge, that. you know, 47 plus the 250, you know, every single month, like not for the next one, because you're already integrating the one on mm -hmm. there. So, I'm going to just add an, on another bot. Like, that's it. It's not going to do anything. But would you do that? So let's think through that, though, because those are two separate workflows. So if we're in my example. Well, well, no, 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 no. What I mean is a setup fee. Gotcha. Oh, gotcha. Like, I'm going to charge okay. a, another setup fee. Like, if someone's buying five bots, I'm not right. going to charge five setup fees. Gotcha. You know, okay. maybe I'll bump yeah. that up to, thir to 300 from 250. Right. But, you know, I'll still charge uh, the 47 per bot type thing. Right. You know, right, right, right. So that, that's, what, that's what I mean by that. Okay. Okay. So by setup, you're talking about actually putting it in embedding it into their site yeah you know okay. whether or not be through the google sheet or onto their okay. website stuff like that Got because it. Then again it depends okay you just want the email okay cool 47 bucks here you go like okay. it'll just run i like i'm not doing nothing else here's the code yeah. you put it in on your what on your own website that's yeah. it yeah um but if i'm going to do like a reoccurring monthly fee Right. Okay, I will install that on your website there for you not okay. a problem and you'll still get the emails that's not a problem okay. Okay. Um, because it's, it's such a small thing to do. As long as it yeah. pops up, you can take care of the rest of it on, on, on your back end, Right. Mm -hmm. So from there, you know, again, now that's going to be $47 every month. Well, you want me to do, use Google sheets. Well, that's my sheet that I'm going to be using and I need to make sure of that. Okay. That's going to be 250 because integrations and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Same thing then too, with the, uh, you know, okay, well, I want it to go into my system. Okay, that's fine. I can go through there and set it up onto you know without going into your go high level. I can show you how how you're gonna do that, and this is what I need you to do. Just mm -hmm. so then that way I can come over here, you know, and basically do what I need. You know, deal with the webhooks like I need to do here, like we're gonna get into right now. Is you know is is with that webhook. And um, let me ask you that too, because so so. In, in my mind is the, the advantage is that you're avoiding paying twice for the for it to get into high level right because you're you're when you're you're just not having to use make right that's the you just kind of circumvented what would happen right. what normally you would have to do so instead of a two-leg thing it just goes directly in so you don't right. have to pay two people but we pay still for high level to yeah you, you guys yeah okay. each, each okay. penny for that so okay. now if you're doing that into somebody else's system, you can say, Hey, yeah, I can put that right into your system. I'm still going to have a 250 uh, setup fee because I got to get in there and do that right. itself. And then again, that's where I'd be like, okay, here's, here's your uh, web hook. It, it comes in and then start building this out. Okay. I'm going to tell you to start building that out. Yeah. Oh, now you want me to do that and build out some, some sort of workflow. Okay. That's going to go up to $500. Right. Right. Yeah. You know, because then now I'm going to do that. Right. Yeah. And then yeah. same thing, even if I do, even if I go through the third leg this way and go through here and let's say I'm going into Salesforce, not into go high level. So now we're going into another service. Okay. Well, now I still need to pay for this, you know? So yeah, that's where I'm getting that monthly fee from. Yeah. Even, even though this is why I like make better than, uh, than Zapier 
is because with make, um, uh, let's see, let's see if I can pull it up. There you go. I should be able to do it right here. Yeah, when I saw your thing, I, I, because I know my friend uses Zapier, but when when I heard you say, why would you use Zapier when Make is the, I immediately signed up for Make. I'm just yeah. Like that. Well, like free, you get a thousand for free. Yeah. And then ten, you know, ten fifty nine for mm -hmm. ten thousand operations, and like that's just the bare minimum. You can't go any less than that. But like eighteen eighty two for twenty thousand, right there. And so with Zapier, I don't. I thought my friend said she's on some unlimited thing. Right. Oh, like I can go up to two million for one thousand one hundred sixty two dollars a uh, a month. Okay. And, uh, you know, uh, Zapier is like way, 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 way more expensive. Okay. That's why okay. I just look at it this way. Here's ten thousand, and like even if we go to Zapier. Free. Okay. Well, they dropped it down. It used to be twenty nine ninety nine. Yeah, I think that's what she pays is twenty nine ninety nine. So she. Right. Um, so now this is a new price. Okay. And for how many is that though? Is that? Do you still feel like Make is better? I I still I still do. Uh, let's see, mm -hmm. unlimited premium app. So we have access to that now. That's good. Uh, multi steps apps because they used to have it. They used to have it where you where you could actually where it was set up just like make there. So now I am kind of curious as to what this you know what this is. Okay. But I mean, still, oh, right here. Oh, so you oh. just see how much you need. Okay, so let's that's like let's. I'm curious. Yeah. So, so that's it starts at seven hundred and fifty tasks for nineteen ninety nine. Oh, okay. So there's twenty. There's seven hundred and fifty tasks. Just round it up to a thousand. Okay. I just round it up to a thousand for double the price, so ten times less. Yeah. And I'm yeah. A, and I'm a, and I'm with. Oh, drag that up to ten thousand and see what it costs, because for that's ten dollars for ten thousand. Right. What if you take that to ten thousand? How much is it? What which one does it tell you? Oh wow. One hundred thirty dollars a month. Wow. Okay. <laughs> and it's the same thing, right? It's multi-step. Yep. Web books. Okay. Wow. All right. Yeah, so, no, I'm glad I came across because I would have just done Zap because, you know, that's what um, was in the video for Kieran's video, and yeah. because my friend uses it, and so I thought, okay, I guess yeah. I'll just. Do that. Well, but see, the, the, what I don't like about Zapier is, um, it's just like an inline setup of how everything is done. What I like about Make is the fact of of the layout itself here. So if we come in here and we do multiples. Actually, let me go into practice. I now. did. I like that aesthetic and that feel of it too. When I, because I did zap it first, and when I went to make, I really liked how you how this just it's. I like this working with it this way. The user interface. Right. Yeah. So then, like, we can take a you know flow control here, whatever. Just put a repeater. We can have that come up here, and that's there. And then you know, again, we can. There's a lot of different flows that you can actually build out in here too, and you know, uh, this and can connect that here put that in there and then add different variables on this so like we can add different things on here and then that's what i mean that's how i like this aesthetic wow. and then so you can run this through claude and then oh okay so this yeah. is I, I really like this and I so then like join your integrators meeting jeez okay right and so then like now you can come in here and you know click uh do a right click on this and you can see mm -hmm. the setting run this module only show yeah. the queue show errors rename it whatever it is copy the module yeah. if you want delete the i module. like this user interface way better yeah because because then i can actually see yeah okay, well it goes from there to there and then like we can also have something else come out from there too and okay. do like an if so like an if this and if that then you know so we can through. actually see this whole layout here that's what, what I like. What would repeater mean in this instance? I, I agree with you. I like that too. What, um, what? I don't know. I haven't used repeater. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. But I, yeah, I haven't used repeater yet. Haven't yeah, this it. is nice. I like how you can just pull, you can map it out first and, and see it. And then. Oh, not, not even, not even that. The thing that sold me was the, was the uh, uh, 10,000 for, for 10. Yeah. Miles. I mean, for sure. Why? That's a no. So, so, so here's the thing. So when we look at this and we do. Uh, and do by ten thousand. That's a uh, one tenth of a penny. One tenth of a penny. 
okay. before I even get charged one penny. Right. That right. means if I, instead of going to go high level, I can do a hundred of these through here. Yeah. Before I even hit one penny of the cost. But then again, it just, I wouldn't go through this just to save right. myself a couple of pennies. Yeah. But you know, if you're doing it as a business and building out all these bots, I would just use, uh, use this thing all day because yeah. if you're getting $47 a month, yeah, it, you know, it's going to well, 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 well pay for itself. So that's why I'm not even worried about that. Okay. So, from the amino side here, um, we'll jump back into here. Okay. Um, let's uh, return by. So, um, yeah. So within here, we got our settings, and so we did our our Google Sheet here. You know, that's that one. Um, actually, that's one bot I bought. Forget which one I did. Uh, test bot one. I think I did. Maybe that's it. Okay, yeah. So the oh no, this is the make one. So how did you discover that you could use your the the um the webhook from GHL in Zapier in that Zapier field? Oh, uh, that, that's what it's in the in the um. Is it? Um, like, what made you even try that? Well, that's what's it, that's what's in the video. He does have a he does have a little video of that, but it's like okay. a couple years old itself. But I, didn't you know, I, I went in there and I was like, okay, cool. Because here's the thing is that by me doing this, I want to know everything that this uh, that this thing is going to be capable of That's doing. That's awesome. Yeah, for sure. You know, So that way I know what I can do when I sell it. Yeah, well, yeah. And especially it makes sense because you have a whole different frame of reference being in, you know, in that integrators group. You know, you, you already have those things in your mind flo floating around. Wondering right. about that. So that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I, so, so what we're doing here is we're taking that webhook from from our system over here. So if we were, if I were to rebuild this out, let me rebuild it out because I want you to see because I took the exact steps and I got it. It came in through yeah. the webhook, but I want you to see what I'm talking about when I get to that point. So I deleted what I had in there and I'm going to do it all over again step by step so you can watch yeah. mine. Um, so, 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 when, so when you do this though, mm -hmm. like like I'll show you Okay. I do have to go pick out pick up my kids in about fifteen minutes. So okay. Um, so within here, this here's a a, a news app. Yeah. And again, I'll, I'll give you the you'll have the recording of this to go back through with this too. So on the trigger side, we're gonna come down here to the inbound webhook. Mm -hmm. This is that number that we have to copy. This whole thing. No, I did all of this. Yeah, right. I got past okay. all of this. Yeah. So you so you already did that, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, so now in order to get that to fire, right? I, no, it fired. I, it pulled it in and everything. It okay. did exactly like your video showed. It did. Okay, so, so th then it did come in just it like this. Here. Keep going and I'll show you where it stopped working. Okay, me. so then the information came in here. Yep. And then you started doing something like this. Yes, it came into the create contact. Exactly. So okay. if you click on that, I'll show you where it stopped for me. Okay. Well, because right, right now here. it's just creating a contact from everything here. No, but this is where it stopped right here. Okay. See where you have email and first name. Right. So if, if you were to add a new field right now and, and I'll show you what happened. So in the drop down and you add a new field, what did you do here to get the, to get the information? Oh, from here. Yeah. Okay. So from here, you just you, uh, select, uh, you do the drop down uh, for a select field and then because uh, my my inbound webhook wasn't there anymore for me to get over to the data like after email and first name is all i could get i and i couldn't even get to ai conversation that's where i just couldn't get anywhere else after that i couldn't get anywhere after first name okay uh da, 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 da. yeah see how it's like it's not there anymore okay. the inbound webhook okay so let me try this then let me Okay, go ahead and delete that. We'll go back in here. But you were able to grab at least five fields. Oh and no, I no, no. Okay, because you gotta you gotta get your field first where you want it to go. So phone. All right. So we're putting the phone back in here. Phone. Okay. And okay. then you're gonna come over here to the tag. Okay. Right here and hit the tag. And you're going to go to inbound webhook. That's trip. where I messed up on the third one. Okay. Yeah. okay and then exactly. lead. 
not headers, but lead. Lead. Yep. Yep. I did and all that. In here, data. Yeah, that's what I did wrong. Okay. And then you're back over here. So we would just grab, yep. take phone right there. Yeah. That's perfect. I so just, then now, even if I go through and add in another one here, well, let's just say that we're going to to do uh um, the field first. Yeah. yeah I had it backwards um, on that search. Sorry. Okay. Let's just say city because okay. I don't have city. So then we'd go to city and we hit the tag mm -hmm. inbound webhook trigger because we need that information to come on over. Yeah. And so then now we get the lead and then data. And then from there, um, we got, we can slide this over. And then so from here, this is where we can go. Okay. City. And let's say we want to put in, uh, the multiple choice one being that response. And we okay. would actually doing this, we would map this out to the same thing that we wanted to. Okay. Multiple choice one, let's say it was color choice. We would call this, you know, have this field here called color choice. And then we could go on to, to do another one. And uh, let's just say business name, whatever. And then again, we'll come back in here, web uh, trigger data. And then we'll say multiple choice two, okay. right? And so, oh, one thing I do want to see, actually, let's see if we can actually do this, do this with this one. So inbound webhook trigger leads data. Okay, cool. So we can drop in the AI sales automation too. Okay. So the good part about this, the sales automation itself is this right here. Okay. So it's going to drop in the conversation. Okay. So in this case here, I would probably go through and create a field such as what I got here that says um, uh, AI conversation. So mm -hmm. like when I do this now, uh, let's see what what leads came in through that because I didn't want to I didn't want to say that other stuff. So um, execution logs. Now we can see. Let's go see Tony. Tony came in. Yeah, I want to see how, what it looks like once it's all in. Okay. Right. So now I can take that AI conversation too and actually put that in. So first name is the phone. Uh, time zone that it came in on. It updated it. Not, not there. Got all kinds of different bots that I play with too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's not that one. Okay. So that is a different one from there. So let me. Actually, I don't think I went into the correct one. There's only oh, there's only two that went through here. Enrollment history, let's see. Oh yeah, so Johnny five. Okay. Oh, but that's right. I did not. All right. So now we're gonna create this contact, and then sorry, this is what I want to do. This one I do want to update here because now um, AI. I can't do AI conversation. Why not? Oh, the AI conversation is already there. Oh, I did do it. Aha. Cool. I yeah, where does that go? I want to see where the AI conversation goes. Yeah. So it should be in here, one of these. Okay. So now this is going to take us right to there. So now I made okay. a field called AI conversations. So now when, when I go back into the contact, we'll, we'll just scroll down to AI conversations. And now it should populate that whole history. Okay. So it'll just be right there. Okay. AI responses. Okay, which one? Okay. Let me let me find out where I put that. <laughs> yeah, I'm curious. Uh, okay, but it but it, the, any field that you add, I guess, will show up on that left hand viewing pane of uh, when you're in the contact. Yep. Okay. So I do want to make sure that that, that is what that is because that conversation should come over too. 
So GPT. So it should be right there in AI conversation. Hmm. Oh, okay. So I, I don't think it is. Okay. I don't think it's, I don't think if you do it this way, it's bringing in that conversation. Oh, okay. So that no, would be if that's the case, and that's going to be a downer on this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Because now what I do. Well, could is, it? Would it, it? Is it because it it couldn't get mapped to it? Should it? Because you put it in a folder instead no, 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 of no. it. Oh, okay. No, because it went to it went to a contact field. So oh, that's right. Okay, is one of those, and it came in through. Okay, and so it should have just went into that folder automatically. Okay, so inbound webhook from Amino. So this it came in through that workflow. Okay. So this year, so I'm going to show you some really cool stuff here. Okay. So you're like you because like to do this, this is where you have to like understand and like you do have the tech background, so yeah. you know you will get this. But yeah. so this is that last workflow that it went through, right? So it went right. through that. Now okay. I can come over here to these uh, this little triangle over here. Yeah. Click on that. It'll take me right there to that workflow. So then now oh. what it'll do is it will actually show me this contact and the point that it ran the execution log of this. So okay. this one here. Um, so it came in, removed from workflow, came in and removed from workflow. Okay. So why is that not in there? So these two came from there. Okay. So maybe it wasn't them. Now why? Okay, why do I have those two in here then? I came in from the same workflow. How the hell did that even happen? Okay, so let's go look at a Tony and a Becky here. Okay. Because Tony actually went through there accordingly to that execution log. Okay. Tony. No, I don't have a Tony. What about Becky? Wow, I don't have that. It's showing a Johnny Five. Hmm. Okay, so we'll get away from there really quick. Okay. And so this is coming in from the Aminos bot. Um, okay. Like anything here, I know Dan Vega uh, came in through there. So like when okay. we come here, um, this one here, it came in through the make side. So you'll okay. see on the phone number, email, um things like that and then this one here i know okay. that this one does pull in the conversation and it's still in that same folder okay so it comes in the gpt folder one of them yeah i mean a spot okay i just gotta find out which one i actually did come through <laughs> okay i know pat did oh pat was an old one right, let's do this one See a lot of testing, and it's like you gotta yeah, go through. Yeah, yeah, it's hard to remember. Yeah, for sure, I'd be all over the place. Uh, GPT, because the conversation comes in. Why is this not coming in? Uh, did it... Why would it come into the GPT folder though? Be uh, because that's how I had it come in. Oh, I see. Okay, so from, you set uh, that up. Make. Okay, like okay. within Make here. This card changes. So within make, oh, okay. What I'm doing here is like the amino spot right here. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. So in this amino spot, doing the same thing. So when I come in here and I open up the high level side, okay. These are all the fields that are in my high level account that right. account I'm utilizing. So there's the name, phone number, and email. Yeah. Again, we're tagging it right here with the aminos. Mm -hmm. And then we're going through and we're doing all this other stuff, which is we are updating the the date that everything came in as well as, uh, see, that's the opt-in date. So I'm putting the date that the lead was created from, from Aminos. So that's okay. coming in there. Again, I'm updating this already too. So this is already being updated here too. Okay. So you can update all these things from here. I can put in all kinds of information from here. Right. Well, okay. Why do I not have this here? Uh, AI start. So yeah, that's supposed to be there. Let me go back here. 
And when you got all this stuff, you got to try to figure out where all this stuff is. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because <laughs> uh, I'm going to wind up putting it somewhere, and I'm like, nope, should have put it somewhere else. Right. I, I mean, this here is my dummy account, so I, I play with things all over the place. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. It's like when I come back in here to try to show somebody again, it's like, ah, uh, yeah, it works. Trust me. Like, I don't know where I put it, though. <laughs> right. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'll put it right here in property notes. So let's just say that. So then we we go through there and just click that. Oh, okay. Now, so that, okay. I see. You can put yeah. it wherever you want. Okay. Yeah. So I can put that wherever I want. So in this case here, I'm going to put in property notes. Okay. And, and we'll go ahead and save that really quick. Um, let's see. What bot is this coming from? Oh, bot. Pod bot. So let me save this. Go into Aminos. Go to dashboard, pod bots. Oh, and I, and I go by pod, so pod is just a little nickname. But okay, okay. So uh, we'll go ahead and do that here. Let me back out of this bit. I think too many numbers there, but oh well. See, this is for my system that I actually sell here too, so. Okay. Um. Da, 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 da. All right. so, and I believe that there was that one. Let me just double check. Okay, so we are in the make 835. Eight three five. So yes, this is that correct one. Okay, so now we should be able to see this thing come in because i do have a weight at the end mm -hmm. of this so oh, okay. the, the catch it the caveat to this though too is that in like in the flow builder here um at the end of this like when you do this you can have the the weight so send a ai chat log to uh to enable integrations after one minute I have so, mine set for two, but can you tell me the rationale? Like, why do why would you choose one minute versus five minutes? Or... Well, one minute just for testing purposes. Okay. Two, you know, three or four minutes would be for um, to be able to get that as much as a conversation as you can. Oh, okay, okay, all right. You know, so, you, so then okay. that way, yeah. So then that way, when we do this in here, that should come already any moment, because this one is going through the make. Okay. So this one here uh, shouldn't take that long. See, there's Danny. Okay. And so then we put that down in property notes. So Danny, name, phone number. Um, property details, I think. Yep, there property notes. Property notes. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. And so then now, now you see, now I got the whole conversation right there. Right. Okay. So all that information and then comes into that right there. Okay. Yeah. That's great. So then okay. now they can actually have, you know, by doing it this way too, it has that coming through. Yeah. Right? So then now that conversation is there. Right. And then okay. now that's the only thing that I'm not seeing come over in the go high level side. Okay. Okay. But let's just go back there and double check that because it was start AI. So maybe it is called something different.
Yeah, because see, that's the that's the coding and stuff that you got to put in there for that for the yeah. thing. So it does it does take a little bit of a moment there for that. But okay. we go through here and create an update. Yeah, conversation should have gone in there, but that that was what. Hmm, I don't know what that is. Hey, sales automation. I can only think that that there would be that. That's what that it, that would be. Yeah, because I don't see another option for it. Because there's the multiple choices that 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 email uh id bot id session id mm -hmm. email that's the data created updated should send at i don't know maybe should send at i don't know i don't i don't see where that there would be anything of value because once we look back here it's called ai start yeah and like over here again in in the make side we can see that that there just went so we can actually see that they're, that they're just triggered. Yeah. So then again, we can come back in here. And property. I'm just curious what this field is actually called in here. Uh, created at, no, nope, not that one. lead data ai start yeah so it's not sending the conversation over there all the more reason to use this interesting <laughs> yeah okay that's interesting so then so you still have it pulling it goes from aminos and you're still having it to your spreadsheet and then well it, as long as i have the spreadsheet here uh copied to it right as long as I have the spreadsheet attached in here, it's still going to do it. Okay. Regardless. So that's that. And then that is, uh, uh, no, nope. that's this one. So like now I'll go down here. We'll see Danny, Danny right there. So okay. all those same fields came over in the amino right. uh, going right. through the make, but not through the go high level. Not through the high level. Okay. Okay, interesting. So if you want to capture the conversation in high level, then you would need to go through make. But if you don't worry about the conversation because you have that right. in your spreadsheet already, it's not a big deal. I mean, right. Well, see, this is how, like, again, if I'm doing it multiple ways, yeah. Like, if somebody wants a spreadsheet too with yeah. that, yeah. But like, yeah. ultimately, I'm I'm doing this for testing purposes, mm -hmm. so I can see what's going on here. But like, yeah, yeah. just put it into my CRM. Okay. Now I might have have a spreadsheet then just for me, just to yeah, keep just so you, yeah, 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 yeah. So they can go, oh yeah, hey, this isn't working. Oh no, all those leads are coming in here. They came in at this time, eighteen thirty three. Right. You know, on the on the April eighth, ninth of two thousand four, twenty twenty four. Right. Yeah. So I got the whole date there. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Well, thank you so much. I know you have to get your kids, but. I really appreciate it. This was really helpful. Yeah, ab absolutely. So you you see what I my what I mean here with this? It's like this. What do you want to do to right. sell your bots? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, you like it's hard to sell a five hundred dollar bot, and you know it's just going to go into a Google spreadsheet. Yeah. I mean, can you? Yeah. But like, hey, I got the Google spreadsheet. Here you go. You're going to get that. So yeah. you can actually do this where you where you would do this for somebody uh -huh. and say, hey, you know what? If after two weeks we put this on your website, and after two weeks you haven't gotten qualified leads or yeah. you know potential qualified leads, then you know we'll we'll throw it away, right? You don't pay right. them. You can give them like a two week thing, but then yeah. don't have the leads go to them, but pull it up on a on a spreadsheet like this and be like, yo, like look at all these people that just visited and went through here. This yeah. is all potential leads that you can call on and. Go back through now they're like okay yeah cool I, I can totally see that yeah yeah definitely okay good i'm excited i'm gonna set my makeup now and because i stopped i stopped doing make when i was gonna just go to a straight high level and actually i could for me because i'm not even trying to pull a bunch of leads in so i i don't care about the conversation because i'm in my spreadsheet and bot and i can see the conversation there but yeah i think i'll just bypass make for now and then 
I, as I grow, maybe I'll need it at some point. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what I, that's what I said too. But then you, you start coming across other things that you can do. Cause what if you do start selling these things? I plan on it. Oh yeah. Hell right. yeah. <laughs> well, because now you just do it in the Google sheet though. Okay. Well, what yeah. if they, what if you can sell more of it by, well, that'd be great if it could go into my system. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I get to, cause it does take a moment to understand like the, the integrations and stuff and how to build those things out. Yeah. So, so do keep it. I mean, it is only 10 bucks. Yeah. You know, yeah. Do keep it and play with it that way because then yeah. when you can get that understanding of how it's working. So when you do go through and somebody comes along and says, you know, let's say in a month or two and says, yeah, Hey, well, you know, that'd be great if I could get it to dump in my system. Yeah. Well then now yeah. you can, now you can come back into, uh, go back into make here. Yeah, what's great about it? There we go. You can come back into make. And now we can uh, come in here and look at this and go uh, Salesforce. Right? Okay, cool. There's a direct integration. So then now we can uh, open this up and go, okay, great. What do you want to do? Like, where do you want to send this? You know, delete a yeah. record, update a record, create a job. I, I think creating a job is like what they call it in there because okay. they call it something else. Right. Okay. So then now you can go, okay, great. Create a job. Boom. So that would be for now, someone like with an e-commerce site or something you would integrate with Salesforce. Yeah. Or whichever. Okay. You know, okay. Whichever that's one. their system. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I then, think I will play around with it. I will do that because you're right. I, that way I'll have better context when I'm meeting. Because with different it's only people. going to help you, help you expand too. When, when you do start growing more and more. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah I don't because know. now, now it's just like, Instead of like, hey, yeah, I got a bot for you and it'll bring yeah. leads in. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, we're not really interested in that. Yeah. Okay, what if I could get you leads that were qualified? Because now you're going to go through and play with Aminos and build it out several different ways. Right. And go, okay. Well, what if I got, what if I can, um, I think this is it. What if I could get you um, all these leads that come in, they're all vetted and pre-qualified through all these different branches here and everything like this. That already qualifies them. Yeah. And then they come in. Now you're only talking to qualified leads. Okay. Cause then now, guess what? If they said red, blue, or black, guess what? If they said black and it and you utilize that that question to come into your system and black is a disqualification, guess what? They'll still come into the system, but it'll be a disqualified lead. Right. So then now you don't have to worry about that lead anymore. Exactly. Yes. You, you, exactly. And so now that's what I mean. When you understand building out the amino spot, right. then, you know, then same thing with make, you know, instead of just like, oh yeah, hey, there's four little blocks and this is the bot. But yeah. then, oh, well, that'd be great if you can do um, this, 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 and this, like ask this question, this and that. And you're like, okay, but you don't know that yet. So you don't know how to do it. So you got to turn around and go back through and play with it. You can, right. as long as you understand the basics of it, you'll be able to expand on it. Yeah. You yeah, know? and definitely. so then again from there now when that block is black it's automatically disqualified nope doesn't mm -hmm. work if they picked red okay hey great hot lead they're ready to buy right now mm -hmm. you know whatever right yeah this is good okay thank yeah. you i like uh, it when are you doing another one do you know <laughs> <laughs> oh this one was just done and, and like now but i mean you see what every there's a lot that i can that oh can there's a lot over. yeah totally you know yeah. and, and that's why so it's like now that was kind of like a whole big build for everybody mm -hmm. and it was like i wanted to just get you know um those people to to just kind of come on and just be like okay you see that we can do a lot mm -hmm. this is how you connect to here this is how you do this how you do that yeah. And then now it's just a matter of like, okay, well, now what can you do? Yeah. So then if you yeah. watch the end of it there too, we started discussing about like other opportunities that you can do with it. And it's like, okay. yeah, now it's up to your heart's content. You can yeah. do anything that you want, but like, if you only know how to go up here, you know, build out to here, then the rest of this is. Right. Is yeah. So you have to understand what your capabilities are, what you're yeah. able to sell on to make it happen too. Yeah. Or you better be willing to hire somebody to do it. <laughs> exactly. I mean, if you're better on the sales end, but you know someone who can do it on the back end, it's still an opportunity. Right. Yeah. So, well, I'm glad I was able to help. Thank you for joining me and stuff. I mean, I love doing this, uh, this stuff too. So. <laughs> yeah, I can tell your enthusiasm definitely comes across. I really appreciate it, Pod. Thank you.
Thank you, Miss Fancy. <laughs> All right. I will chat with you soon then. All right. Cool. Talk to you later. Bye.